Hi guys, it's Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a review slash lipstick swatches of the Mattes vs Metals Vault. And I got mine from Priceline and it was 40% off. I'll link down everything below for you. But yeah, I'm going to give them a go and let you guys know what I think about them. So you get 12 lipsticks. So you get six matte lipsticks and six metallic lipsticks. So I'm going to start off with the matte lipsticks first. I don't actually have anything on my lips at the moment. Wow, these are so cute. They're like tiny. So the first color that I am applying on is called Tea and Cookies. Oh, this is such a cute name. Okay, let's give it a go. Wow, these feel super buttery and super creamy. I actually don't mind this color at all. It's a really kind of pretty Barbie pink. So the next color that I'm trying out is called Sandstorm. And this looks like just a really kind of nice nude color, like a dark nude. Oh, this color is bomb. I'm obsessed. I think this is definitely going to be my new nude color to wear out. I struggle finding like the perfect nude. Sometimes they have too much pink in it and it ends up washing me out. Whereas this looks like such a beautiful nude, especially if you're kind of medium to tan skin. I think it would go really well. So the next color that I'm trying out is called Soft Spoken. So this kind of has a little bit of like a dusty rose tone to it. The next color is Vintage Retro, and we're finally getting to the darker colors. I'm just going to add another layer to kind of darken up that lipstick color. It's not too vampy looking, but it still gives that really nice kind of dark, deep, kind of sultry look to it. So the next shade I'm trying is called Cherry Skies. Oh, this color is a really kind of nice deep red, like a, a deep wine red. So that's kind of one layer. I'm going to add one more layer just to kind of darken up the color just because I feel like there's some areas which are lighter than others. So the next colour that I'm trying out is called Kitten Hills and it's like pretty much a classic bright red colour. Alright, let's try this out. All these liquid lipsticks feel really nice and creamy but I feel like I have to add two layers to kind of get the colour, the best colour payoff. It's really hard doing red colours because you want to make sure you shape your lips perfectly and mine are not shaped perfectly. I have tried red lipsticks that do kind of have a shine to it but they just don't look as good as a matte red lipstick like this. Finally now we can try the metallic lipsticks which I am so excited about. I love like kind of glossy metallic shiny glittery lipsticks just because they're pretty and they look really cool as well in photos so we'll see how these turn out. So the first one I'm going to try is called Speed of Light. Interesting. I'm loving all the names as well. Okay, okay. Ooh, this this looks like a pretty rose gold metallic lip color. This is so cool. I've never like tried anything this intense before and I'm actually liking how it's looking. So the next one I'm trying out is Metropolitan Night. So Metropolitan Night is this one here. So it does look like a really nice kind of gold color. Whoa. This is like super gold and super light. I find the metallic lipsticks 
they're not as creamy they are a little bit more kind of thick in consistency so you kind of have to work at it whoa okay I feel like this is definitely not my color at all I don't know if I would wear this out I just feel like it's a little too light it's almost kind of washing me out so next is galactic love and this is a more kind of darker metallic lipstick color so it's not as obvious when I swatch it that it is a metallic shade it kind of looks more like a brown shade well that swatch was really bad it's a little bit more subtle it almost kind of looks like a glittery brown lipstick rather than like a foiled lipstick color so the next shade is crystallized metal and this looks like a really pretty pink metallic lipstick color let's see how the swatch is I like this. I'm finding that most of the metallic colors um, have a little bit of gloss in it, I guess, so you can actually see the different dimensions coming through. But I don't mind it. It's nice, especially with this color. So the next shade I'm trying is called Elite, and this looks like it's got a little bit of purple coming through, but it is like a nice dark color. It does have like purple coming through like like a hint of like this really nice kind of purple glitter so it gives it like this really nice two-tone lipstick look oh lucky last we're finally there yay oh so this one is called lava and it's more of a kind of bright red metallic lipstick color I find reds are always a bit more difficult to put on just because you have to be so careful because you can see the shape of it. I can't really see much of the glitter. It does look more like just a glossy red lipstick. Maybe for like a Christmas look it will look really pretty. I think the gloss makes it look a bit more kind of festive. Overall, I loved the matte lipsticks in general. The formula was really nice and creamy, super silky, and easy to apply on the lips. The Sandstorm shade is one of my favorites. It just is like the perfect nude. It's that really nice kind of brown nude. It doesn't wash me out at all, and I have a lot of trouble trying to find the perfect nude color because most of the time they are too pale on my skin tone, whereas this kind of just complements my skin tone really well. The second favorite favorite color is actually a dark lipstick color. I'm not someone who likes dark lipstick colors in general, but this one here um, called Vintage, it's like the perfect dark where it's not too dark and not too vampy looking as well. I think it's a perfect dark that you can even wear during the day. I think if you're feeling a bit more fun and colorful, I think this tea and cookies lipstick color would look really pretty. I loved it. Um, it had a little bit of like a neon tone coming through. It wasn't major, but it did make the color kind of pop a little and that's why I liked it. As for the metallic colors, the formula was very, very different from the matte lipsticks. It wasn't as creamy. It was a little bit more thick in consistency and it was a little bit hard to apply onto the lips. I did have two favorites in terms of the metals lipsticks and the first one is called Speed of Light and this is a beautiful rose gold color and you can really see that metallic shine coming through. So the second lipstick that I liked from the metals range is it's called Elite and I really liked this because it's kind of two-toned so you have the brown lipstick and then you have like purple specks of glitter coming through and it just give, gave it another dimension and made it look Look really interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video.